guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie, if you've not been here before, and thanks so much for watching this video. So I don't know if you guys have noticed lately, but I've been wearing my hair wavy like so quite a bit. I've been on a wavy hair journey. I truly never knew I had a wave pattern like this until about a few weeks ago, really. It all started actually because I was going to do my normal wavy hair routine where I French braid my hair, let it air dry and take it out and fix it with a waver. I normally put some product in my hair beforehand just to encourage some texture. I was actually filming the video for you guys. I tried a new product and my hair ended up looking absolutely amazing without me even having to braid it. And I was so mind blown that I had to fully scrap the video and explore this whole thing. So now that I've done my hair like this, I think four times now, I've definitely got more of a routine down. There's still things that I'm trying and testing out, but I at least wanted to share the tutorial with you guys and what I've learned so far about this wavy hair journey. I will say, if you are somebody who has always wanted wavy or curly hair, and just never thought you had it, I would absolutely recommend trying out this routine and see if you can get anything from your hair because truly this routine for me has been life-changing. The fact that I'm only using a tiny, tiny bit of heat and it's literally my blow dryer on the lowest heat and it's maybe for five minutes total. My hair fully air dries like this and I am obsessed with the way it looks. I've always wanted hair like this and I never knew it was possible until now. So I'm excited to share this routine with you guys before we get started. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload. If you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I'd so appreciate that. And leave a comment down below letting me know what else you guys would like to see from me. As always, I will definitely be sure to link all the products that I'm using today down in the description box. My Instagram, TikTok, Poshmark, podcast, camera details, outfit details. I mean, look how cute this little top and skirt is, I'm obsessed. That's all gonna be linked down below for you guys. And with that, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. So before you see all the products being applied to my hair when it's wet, I did wanna share which shampoo and conditioner I use because I do think this is a very important step in the process if you are kind of trying to figure this out. You can absolutely start with your normal shampoo and conditioner and just try an air dry cream first to just see if your hair does anything for you. But once you get to a point where you're like, yes, I am committing to this wavy hair routine or curly hair routine, whichever type of curl pattern you have, I definitely think it's important to use products that are going to encourage more texture, more waves to your hair, and definitely products that are going to moisturize your hair very well. Also, all of the hair washing products, I believe, are all drugstore products, so that's exciting. The shampoo that I use today is the Eva NYC Lazy Jane Air Dry Shampoo. I've talked about this shampoo and conditioner a thousand times here on this channel. I love this one. It adds some definition to my hair. In between my shampoo and conditioner, I actually decided to use this Not Your Mother's Rice Water and Himalayan Moringa Superior Strength Protein Rinse. My hair is extremely dry and fragile, especially here at the front because that is where I've used most of my heat tools. So I did notice as I started doing this routine that all of these like little flyaways that I have up here were super dry and brittle. And I used this today because somebody actually on TikTok recommended that I incorporate protein into my hair care routine. And that's what this is. It's a protein rinse. So I just applied this at the roots in between my shampoo and conditioner. And you can just stop with this if you want, but I really wanted to make sure I had a lot of moisture in my hair again, because it is just so dry from heat tools and from bleaching. So I went in with this, left it on for about five minutes. And then for my conditioner, I used the Not Your Mother's Bond Building Curl Talk Mask. And I left this in for about five to seven minutes. All right, now it's time to go back in time to the wet mop so you can see the whole styling routine. So I just got out of the shower and we're gonna get started right away. I want to make sure my hair is sopping wet. So I'm actually gonna wet it down a little bit more with just plain water. So next I'm going to apply this Wild Marula Tangle Spray. It's a detangler and a heat protectant just because I want to make sure if I do decide to go in with my diffuser, which I'm thinking I probably will, I just want to make sure my hair is protected from the heat. 
There are two different products that I use for volume. If I'm air drying my hair, I use the Not Your Mother's Plump for Joy Thickening Hair Lifter and I just apply really at the roots and kind of like make my way down. But because I am going in with a diffuser today, I want to use my Color Wow Raise the Root Thicken and Lift Spray. So I'm gonna use that now. Oh, I lied, you can actually use this on dry hair too and it helps lift the roots. And as you guys can see, I love this thing so much. I'm like right at the end. Next, I'm going to go in with an air dry balm. This is the Alterna My Hair My Canvas Easy Does It Air Dry Balm. Life changing, absolutely love this product. I like to section out my hair when I do this part just because I wanna make sure the bottom gets a lot of product. Everybody has their own way of doing things. And I'm just gonna start kind of scrunching the product into my hair. And if at any point you feel like your hair is not wet enough, just go in with more water and scrunch it. Now it's time to go in with a little mousse. You can absolutely stop at the curl cream if you want to, or the air dry balm. But because my hair is so frizzy, I like to add in a bit more product. So I'm gonna go in now with the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Curl Activating Mousse. And I'm not gonna worry about sectioning out my hair this time. And the last product I'm going to be using for now is a little sculpting gel. This again is the Curl Talk Not Your Mother's line, so I'm just going to apply a little bit of gel as well. Okay, and this is what we're looking like at this current moment. If you notice any pieces that are just like not doing much, like they need a little help, sometimes I will try and kind of encourage the curl by wrapping it around my finger. I usually have to do it a couple times for it to kind of take shape. But I've also noticed that as my hair air dries, it'll start developing some kind of wave without me even trying. For the next step, I am going to kind of hit my roots with the diffuser a little bit just to kind of encourage it to all start drying. So I'm using my Dyson Supersonic with the diffuser attachment. There are a ton of blow dryers on the market that come with this attachment, so you don't absolutely need like a super fancy one. But I do like to leave this one on the lowest heat and the lowest fan when I do this part. Okay, now that we're done diffusing and things are kind of like marinating, we just wanna let our hair chill and sit. Try and not touch it as much as possible. The only thing that I am going to do is occasionally, just every few minutes, kind of flip my hair to the other side. And that just helps promote a ton of volume here at the top, which is definitely something we want for this style. If there is absolutely like a hair that you see is drying 
fully straight. The only thing that I will do is go in with a tiny bit of water and just kind of like encourage the curl with my finger, but I really don't touch anything else at all. So it's 11.47 right now. I will come back once my hair is fully air dried. We're gonna look really, really crunchy, so. See you soon. Hello again. It is now much, much later. My hair has been dry for a while now. This is what it's currently looking like, but I just was busy with some other things in the house, filming some other stuff. So now it is time to finally scrunch out the crunch. In the past, I have always scrunched out the crunch just using my bare hands, no product, nothing. I was always so scared and skeptical of people that said, oh, use a hair oil. I was always so afraid that it would end up making my hair look greasy and that is like the exact opposite thing that I want to happen after <laughs> I've washed my hair. But I've been using this Kerastase Elixir Ultim. I've been using this to scrunch out the crunch lately and it's so satisfying using hair oil and it does not weigh down my hair or make it look greasy. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I'm just gonna start with one pump. I'm literally just scrunching my hair some more. Now I just have oil in it. We're trying to get that hard crunchy cast just to soften up. Everything is loosening up so nicely and my hair still has such nice definition to the waves. All right, and here is what we are left with, I must say. This is definitely one of the best hair days I've had since I started wearing my hair wavy like this. I definitely think that incorporating the protein into my hair routine helped significantly. My hair seems way less dry. And up here, I'm normally super frizzy and I didn't get any of that this time. I didn't have to really mess with that much at all. It's definitely not perfect. There are some pieces that don't look, you know, exactly the way that I want them to, but overall, I'm extremely happy. So that is it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're encouraged as well. If you are somebody that you're not sure if you have wavy hair or not, I would, 100 million percent recommend just trying this routine and seeing if your hair gives you anything. You definitely don't have to buy every single one of these products. They're not necessary. If you're going to start out with one product though to just test out whether you have wavy or curly hair or not, I would definitely recommend grabbing a curl cream. This one from Alterna, the Easy Does It Air Dry Balm. This is like what got my whole wavy hair journey started. I was mind blown that I was able to get the definition and the specific wave pattern that I got with this. I had never seen anything like this on myself before. So 10 out of 10 recommend this product. There's also the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Defining Cream. This one is definitely worth a try as well if you're wanting to go for more of a drugstore option. But anyways, I hope this really encourages you guys to try out this hairstyle and to refresh it every day. It's super easy. Also, I just use another misting bottle. I put a little bit of leave-in conditioner in there and I will start off the day by wetting down my hair just using this misting bottle and then kind of re-encouraging those curls to form. I'll just scrunch up my hair. And honestly, as my hair starts to wear throughout the week and it's maybe not looking as cute, the messy buns are so freaking adorable with naturally wavy hair like this. I swear I just get the best volume and definition with this hairstyle. So anyways, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I'd so appreciate that. Leave a comment down below letting me know what else you guys would like to see from me or if you guys have any hair products that you are obsessed with that you think I should try out, let me know. And that's it. Hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.